Hey guys, so my name is Tippy, and I'm taking over this channel for today because I'm a cute kitty and I have really important things to say like meow 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 meow. Yeah, okay, that's about how mature I always am and obviously you can see right now my room is a mess, but I made this amazing cup of coffee and uh, I wanted to share it with you. So I know that this is not my normal style of vlog and I'm still going to continue to like answer questions and stuff, but like I had an idea in my head and I figured that I could just like post a random video of me thinking about random shit because I can. Um, so the title of this video, or at least what I think I'm going to title it when I upload it later today in like five minutes is I'm a pushover. And the reason why I say this is like people a lot of times think that I, I handle situations very well because I don't get mad, I don't get dramatic, you know, I don't like to cuss at people, I don't like get trashy. I don't like, I hate drama. I mean, I, although I'm very controversial on my channel, hold on. <sighs> Do I have a mustache? I hope not. Anyways, even though I'm very controversial on my channel, I don't like controversy in real life. So a lot of times I avoid problems and people interpret that as, I don't avoid problems, but I just don't handle them with aggression. And a lot of people interpret that as weakness. And although I like to come off as skeptical of everything, by the way, you like my awesome shirt? You know, my hair always covers up my shirts. Thank God I'm atheist. Yeah, I got that at uh, the American Atheist Conference. Anyways, people think that I'm skeptical of everything. And I'm honestly not because I trust people. I trust people too soon. A lot of times, you know, if somebody were to ask me, do you trust people right off the bat or does it take time? I probably would say, I, of course I don't trust people. I don't like people. People are awful. I've been screwed over so many times before by people. Why would I trust people? But I don't. Like, that's a bunch of shit. I like to think that I do, but I don't. I normally trust people right away, and then I'm proven wrong, and then I'm disappointed every time, which is like, you know, learn your lesson, but I don't. So, I don't know, I just kind of want to make this video because I think a lack of aggression in certain social settings is interpreted as weakness, and I really kind of hate that. And it's not so much that I, I don't like have emotional reactions to people when they treat me like shit but it's more that like I'm kind of dumbfounded because I trusted this person you know I make friends with people and have certain expectations in my mind of how you treat someone who is your friend or who is you know a partner in a relationship or who is a family member like you have certain expectations of these people and you give them the benefit of the doubt a lot of times like I mean YouTube is full of drama and gossip and which is so annoying like the YouTube community seems to be so small that everybody knows everybody everybody knows who everybody else has been with everybody talks about other people there's drama it's just like there's certain cliques there's certain people who don't get along and it's so stupid and annoying and there's certain people out there that you know you're not supposed to be friends with because that girl does this and that girl does that and this guy's an asshole I've never really reacted to any of that like I've heard things about people but I don't care because people, I'm sure, say terrible things about me. Oh my god, look at this girl, look at her video, she's a total bitch, she hates everyone, she's judgmental. I mean, I'm sure I get that kind of stuff from people, and I guess it's kind of my job to go out there and prove them wrong. But I'm not like that whenever I hear things about people. I normally give them a chance, I meet them for myself in person, and then I determine based off of my interaction with them whether or not I want to continue knowing them. So I frequently become friends with people who I've been told not to become friends with, and then a lot of times people were right and I get, you know, I get betrayed by that person and like it sucks and everybody comes around and says, I told you so. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. But then there are people who have proven that stereotype to be wrong and they're good friends of mine even today. And I'm glad that I didn't listen to that shit. So it's good and it's bad. But with me, whenever it comes to like controversial things and, and relationships with people, and I'm talking about friendships mostly, it's hard for me to react with like aggression. I normally am just very passive or whenever I don't know how to handle a situation, if I feel like drama came out of the blue, I kind of become reclusive and don't really talk about it until I formulate my thoughts because if I initially react to something, even though I can be very articulate whenever I have something thought out, if something is bothering me and I'm in the moment and it's heated, I am probably not going to say what I mean. So a lot of times I like to wait a few days and like think out what I want to respond with and stuff. And sometimes I don't respond or sometimes my response is really, really nice. And people interpret that as weakness again. But for me, I have been through so much in my life. I was like cheated on. I had so many horrible things happen to me that like things that people think are big deal 
don't seem like that big of a deal to me. So, you know, if you do something that you think is horrible and I'm just like, you know, why did you do that? Instead of being like, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, people don't understand why I react that way. And it's just because like in the big scheme of things in my life, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But internally, like I do, like I'm not trying to say that I hold grudges against people, but things bottle up, you know, after a while, you can handle so much, you can handle so much. And then after a while, you will lose interest in continuing that friendship. And it's not like, oh my God, you did this. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. But it's more like, uh, like so many things have happened and I'm just not really, you know, into it anymore. I don't really want to hang out anymore. I, you know, can't get these things that you've done to me out of my head and it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. You bring more negativity to my life than positivity. And after a while, you'll realize that and you will remove said person from your life. It happened to me in my last relationship whenever I was married, which sucks, but like, you know, he did a lot of terrible, shitty things, really bad things, and I overlooked almost all of them. And I kind of bottled it up to a degree, and, and eventually I just kind of reached a point where I just did not love him at all anymore. There was nothing left. I had just handled so many things and put up with so many things that I had to leave. And then, you know, he was sad, and like, I felt nothing, you know, because it just had been so much that built up over so long, and I handled it and it seemed like maybe I wasn't going to ever leave because I, I kept taking it. I kept taking it and putting up with it and trying to get over it because I wanted so badly for it to work because I really did have feelings there. I did love him. But after a while, shit adds up and you'll eventually see it and if, then it's too late. Once you cross that point, it's like the point of no return and it's too late. You can't go back. You can't apologize. You can't try to make it right because you should have been trying to make it right all along and this applies with friendships too so i mean i feel like any relationship family friends um you know romantic relationships whatever you want to have like don't let people think that you're a pushover because you might just be like me you might be just trying to avoid aggression avoid drama and and keep the peace but internally it is going to eat away at you and eventually you will lose interest in knowing that person and yeah, so I don't know why I even wanted to make this video. It was just kind of something on my mind. And I wanted to see if there was anybody out there like me. Like, do you, do you guys do the same thing or do you just like react violently to things whenever they happen? I mean, I'm not saying that whenever problems happen, I don't address them and I don't like try to fix them. Um, I don't like just ignore things and let them bottle up and then I get mad and explode. But uh, I do handle things, but just not aggressively. And then if I, if I do that, sometimes people think that they can take advantage of me for it and that's when it starts to bottle up. When you think you can get away with anything and you keep treating me like shit, then it will bottle up and I will end up leaving, kind of like I did in my last relationship. And I've had to do that with friends and it sucks, but it's not hard to do once you get to that point because like I said, there's nothing left. So anyways, God, I keep rambling. I, I just have a lot to do today and I'm like freaking out. Hey, Tippy, kitty, kitty, kitty. That's my kitty, and this is Tippy, and I'm gonna end this vlog because I'm a cute kitty. Kisses and hugs, and leave a comment and like this video, and let me know what you think. Bye!